The Rail Coal Fire Bistro, located on Highway 138 in Gunawage. Uh, did your evening run smoothly? How did the day go? Was there anything out of the ordinary? Uh, give us a rundown of how the uh, election went. Actually, it went very, very well. I'm uh, very pleased that the turnout with the turn up from the community. Uh, we had uh, a peaceful protest, uh, which which went very well, and uh, we're thankful that uh, you know all all was respected. We had 1,342 ballots cast, and seven were spoiled. Uh, the counting took approximately uh, from 6:30 till 12:30, so that's five hours. We. Uh, we, we had to do a recount in two rooms, but in the end, all the numbers were by consensus. So we had, oh sorry, what? No, I was saying we had six counting rooms, while each polling station was assigned their own counting room, and there was witnesses, candidates and witnesses that were allowed to uh, be a part of the process. Well, the candidates weren't part of the process, but their, their witnesses were part of the counting. Now, you said you had a peaceful protest. What was that all about? Uh, there were uh, community members who were not eligible to vote. Um, they came in to, well, they came in to make a statement to, uh, to attempt to vote and uh, wanted to find out why. So we, we, the process is to escort them to the, uh, the membership table, sorry I'm very tired, <laughs> to the membership table for an explanation of the membership law and uh, I, I believe, I'm, I do believe that the majority of them left satisfied with the information knowing that they could be eligible in in time once the, mem uh, once the, mem the elders committee or some form of uh, Registrar authority can be in instated so they can start receiving these people, and the majority of them would, would be able to be el eligible, provided you know that they have to apply when the time comes. So I, I believe that uh, that de-escalated uh, you know the emotions that were running high or may have been running high, and uh, I, I think it I felt well after they left. Okay, well, thank you. The Rail Coal Fire Bistro located on Highway 138 in Gunawage.